All right, so we're gonna tie a fly. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Today's Fly Time Tuesday, or clicking on our video, we appreciate it. My name's Brady, and we're gonna tie a lightning bug for you. This is a great little flashy, flashy fly. If you need something a little different than the Rainbow Warrior or your traditional flashy bugs, this is a great option. So we got our hook and our bead ready to go here. It's just a standard tungsten countersunk bead today on one of the X-Series XC290BL hooks. Great new one from Umqua. And then we're gonna start out with some pheasant tail. The thread I'm using is the Semperfly Nano Silk. This is the 30 denier. So it's a very, very small diameter thread which helps to kind of enable you to be very relaxed with your thread wraps, but it's super, super strong if you've never tied with nano silk. And then we can tie in our tailing material, that good old pheasant tail. And four or five fibers here, all lined up, the tips nicely aligned, and then we'll measure it out and tie it right in on the top of the shank here, just like so. A little long, so we'll shorten that up just a tad and then sort of lock it in place. I like the nano silk for this bug because it's nice and translucent. So when we get to the end, it doesn't give you a bright red collar, it gives you just kind of a nice finishing touch to this fly. So the main material we're using on this is mylar tinsel. And I have the large size, it's gauged to a size 10, but that would be more appropriate if you were using this as like a flat ribbing, since it's our entire body covering. We go with the larger size on this. So for me, I'm gonna tie this in with the gold side up, and then when we wrap it down, it'll be silver side out for our body. So we'll tie that in right back to where the tail is hanging and then leave it out of the way for just a second so we can add our ribbing. On this fly, I like a copper ribbing, which I believe is the traditional ribbing from what I've seen. So I'm using a small copper wire and we'll secure that in place right along with that tinsel and then we can cover everything up and work on forward here and sort of even our body out as we go. And then we'll half hitch off our nano silk. Whenever I'm using the nano silk, I give a couple of half hitches just because it's so slick. I want to make sure it doesn't move on me. And then we can wrap our mylar. So I'm going to forward wrap this right on up, just covering up all of that thread and that hook shank with this nice large gauge. It doesn't take too many wraps and you're right up behind that bead pretty quickly. And then we can secure it with our thread and get ready to rib it out. And again, just because it's a very slick material, I tend to give some extra securing wraps. And that 30 denier definitely helps afford those extra wraps. And then we'll counter rib our wire just to create that segmentation. Open, consistent wraps on forward. Again, right behind the bead. And secure that in place as well. And then we can spin that out of the way. And then bring on the next material. The next material is gonna be more of that Mylar tinsel. Use the same piece I had going before. And again, we're gonna tie this with the gold side up, right on top. 
and then we'll fold it down and over once we get some other things tied in place here. So now we're gonna get ready to do our thorax material, which is the good old classic peacock curl, just a wonderful natural material. You could substitute a synthetic if you wanted in place of this, some of the ice stub, a UV black ice stub would be a good substitution. Gives a very similar color profile overall. But I like to grab two peacock strands and marry them up so that they're flared in the same direction can sometimes be difficult. And then we'll tie them in together and flare downward so that when I wrap them, they flare up and out off of that shank, giving a nice fluffy buggy thorax. This is a great little searcher pattern, as I mentioned. It's a good substitute for anywhere that you might have fished a rainbow warrior, warrior that brought you success in the past, where the fish were just opportunistic. And then we can do our legs, and our legs again are just some more pheasant tail. So it's got some nice synthetic flash material supported by these nice natural materials. Good complement. And each side I like to do three or four strands of peacock curl. We're gonna go right about to the midway down that abdomen. So we'll tie that in on one side, clip out our butt sections and then mirror it on the opposite side here. And then the last step, which is the case for many flies when you're talking about nymph flies, is pulling that backing material over and securing it behind the bead. We'll give it some locking wraps. Clip out the excess and then we're gonna give it a whip finish. And I always do extra whip finishes again with this material, with this thread, because it is so slick. And then double it up and give it a little bit of a collar. You still have it somewhat translucent, like I said. So on top of the silver, I just really like the finish that this color red Nano Silk provides. But there you have. The lightning bug, a great little nymph pattern. Fishes wonderfully in a lot of different situations. It's a good tailwater bug for me, but can work in a wide array of fisheries.